Um, the journey under calculus is, is becoming more interesting and interesting. So we've already talked about differential calculus. Let's try to talk about the tangents and the normal lines. So I'll actually explain this and then just look at two questions to help us solidify whatever we're going to to talk about. Considering this curve of ours, taking that to be our x or y plane. Okay. So considering a thin point on the curve, so there are two lines there. There's one line that will cut the curve at a single point and then there will be a line which will be perpendicular to to that point. So the line perpendicular is called the normal and the line parallel is called the tangent. Now coordinate Now, coordinate geometry is very important. So when you talked about the linear uh, linear equations, you understand that when two lines are parallel, it means their steepness is the same. In other terms, the gradient of two parallel lines are equal. And then for the perpendicular ones, so that's if I introduce a line perpendicular, meaning that they make an angle of 90 degrees and taking that to be M3. Their product M1 and M3 is equal to a negative 1. <coughs> That's very important. So with that understanding, we understand that the gradient of a curve at a given point is going to be equal to the, 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 the gradient of a tangent. So Taking the gradient of the curve at that point to be m, and then that of a tangent to be m1, that is a relationship there. And then for the normal and the curve, their product is a negative. In other terms, m is going to be negative 1 over the gradient of the normal. So that relationship is also very important. And I think that's what all you need to know. But the other thing under calculus is the derivative, that's if you have, for example, an equation y is equal to x squared, and then you try to determine the gradient function of the derivative, your dy dx is going to be equal to 2x. So you understand from the introduction where we talked about first principle, I did emphasize to say this is called the gradient function, meaning that it's, it can help you find the gradient of the curve or any function at any given point. So given the value of x at a certain point, I'm able to find the gradient. Okay? So now we'll be using this relationship now to help us find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve at any given point, just using the derivative and then the x coordinate given. Okay. So let's look at an example to just understand what I'm talking about. Considering a case where our y <coughs> is equal to x squared, that's our equation, the coordinate to be 3 comma 9. Okay, so we need to find, let's try to find the tangent to this curve at this given point, tangent and the normal. So I'll find for the tangent and then you will find for the normal. So let me try to show you how. So the first thing that we'd want to do is first of all try to find the dy dx. Derivative is 2x. Okay, so that is called the gradient function. Now we can find the actual grand gradient at the given point. In this case, our value of x is 3. So if you substitute our 3, we'll get 6. So this is our gradient of the curve at the given point. So of course, uh, it doesn't matter whether you know how to sketch the function or not, but I believe this one is easy to sketch. This, this is a function that's like this. It doesn't cut, it doesn't go to the negative part like that. So taking 3 comma 9 is somewhere here. 3 and then comma 9. So we're trying to find this tangent and then also the normal. So starting with a tangent, 
A tangent is a line that cuts the cave at a single point. In this case, the point is 3,9. Now, what did we say? Now, I did say that the tangent and the cave at a given point, their gradients are equal. So the gradient that we've determined, which is of a cave, is basically also equal to the gradient of a tangent at that very point. So, meaning that we have our gradient to be 6. Now, tangents and normals are lines. So, if you have a gradient and then you have a coordinate 3, 9, you should be able to find the equation. Ow! So, you, you know of this, I believe, y is equal to mx plus, which is the form of a standard uh, linear equation. So, plugging in so that you find the constant, see? This is our y. Our y is 9. Our gradient is 6. Our x is 3. So, 9, and then 6 times 3 is like negative 18, which is equal to C. So, C is equal to negative 9. So, you found, you see. So, the equation becomes Y is equal to, the gradient is 6, so you have 6X, six and then your C is 9, so minus 9. So, this is the equation of the tangent to the curve at that given point. Okay, so how would you handle for... How would you handle it for the normal? So for the normal, the product of the gradient of the normal line of the normal to the curve at a given point, the product of its gradient with the gradient of the curve, which in this case is 6, their product is equal to a negative 1, meaning that for our normal is going to be negative 1 over the given gradient. And that is always the case. It is negative 1 given the, the, the gradient of the normal is negative 1 over the gradient of the curve. So you found this. Now we have our coordinate to be 3,9. That's a point where the normal cuts the curve. So using this and applying the same principle, find the constant C and then just write the equation. Simple to deal with, right? Now, to just make it more interesting, look at a more advanced question, which is very nice. Okay, so pay particular attention to this equation, to this question, that is. <laughs> the curve C, so we have a curve C, take note, as an equation that, so we write the equation. The equation is 2x cubed plus x squared minus 3x minus 7. That's our equation. Now, the point P with the x coordinate, negative 0 0.5, so if if I were you, I need to find the y coordinate in advance because I know it's going to ant me as I proceed. So, how do you find the y coordinate? The y coordinate uses the equation of the curve. You know that it is equal to y is equal to that. So, plug in the value of 0 0.5 at every point. Okay. So after plugging in the value I'm getting here is negative 8. Hopefully my calculations are okay. <coughs> so we have that point P. Now we read the question again. The curve C as that equation. The point P with the x coordinate at 0 0.5 lies on C. So to just help you understand, I can come up with a simple sketch. We can take that as our curve. And then our we can have a point. So we have a certain point, negative 0 0.5. So let's say somewhere there. Let's take that to be our coordinate. Um, negative 0 0.5. Negative 0 0.5. Comma negative 8, which we've already found. So now, this is a point P. So the point P with x coordinate lies on C. So this curve is called C. And then what else are we told? <coughs> the tangent to C. So the tangent to C. So we have a tangent at that point at P. Is parallel. So that's this tangent. So that's the tangent to the curve C at the point P. That tangent is now parallel to a straight line. So there's another straight line. Okay, I can just put it down. So this line is parallel to the tangent. Now this line, the equation has been given to be what? <coughs> the equation has been given to be 2y minus 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. 
okay so find the equation of a tangent at p in the form that so we just need to find the equation of a tangent now the beauty in this case is if you look at what we have it's somehow <laughs> it's somehow simple and straightforward i don't see the point i don't see the reason why they gave us this tangent though i don't see the reason maybe we understand as we try to proceed because I feel the information given about the cave is important, is necessary and sufficient to find. Let's try to look at it. So the cave C, the equation has been given to be this part. Okay. So I believe we're able to find the, the gradient from there. And then the coordinate is already there. So I don't see the point. Anyway, let's try it out. So dy dx becomes if you differentiate this you're going to have 8x squared plus 2x minus 3 now we can plug in the the negative 0 0.5 which I believe is uh, the negative 0 0.5 <laughs> am I even was I even correct there I think there's something I made a mistake somewhere when finding the coordinate of the y coordinate so anyway, the value of x is negative 0 0.5 according to the question. So 0 0.5 is the same as half. So 8 multiplied by y is x will put negative half. So negative half squared is 1 over 4. And then here we have a negative half again, <coughs> minus 3. So there we're going to have a 2 minus 1 minus 3. 2 minus 1 is what? Is a 1 minus 3, negative 2. So our answer is negative 2. So what is the gradient of that curve at that point? So m is equal to negative 2. So we can just find the y-coordinate correctly to help us find the... find what? <coughs> to help us find the, the equation of a tangent at p. What else do we need to know? So <coughs> let me try to review finding the the y-coordinate there. So we have 2. Now whenever you raise a negative number to an odd power, it will be a negative. So we're going to have negative 1 over 8. And then when you raise negative 1 over 2 to the power 2, it will be positive 1 over 4. And then minus 3, negative 1 over 2, minus 7. So at this point, we have negative 1 over 4 for the first part, plus 1 over 4, which I believe is a 0. And then plus 3 over 2 minus 7. <coughs> so if we do multiply there, 3, 2 times 7 is 14, and then you have got a 2 on the denominator. 3 minus 14 is negative 11, I believe. So negative 11 over 2, that is our y coordinate, I believe, if everything is correct there. <coughs> So negative 11 over 2. So at this point, I think I can leave you. The gradient is negative 2. The coordinate has been given. You can able to use the this format to find the... So this is why I was saying I don't. I didn't see the point of them giving us the line parallel to that. But let me try to look at it, if it's going to add up. So let's try to make y the subject in this case. So 2y becomes equal to 3x minus 4 and then divide by 2 throughout y becomes 3 over 2 x minus 2 so our gradient according to this equation is supposed to be 3 over 2 so if you are basing your calculations on the line parallel to it this is supposed to be the gradient so I expect them to be the same because I'll read the question again. The curve C has equation that the point P with X coordinate lies on C. Okay. And the tangent to C at P is parallel to a straight line that. Find the equation of the tangent at P in the form of that. So, anyway, based on the question, but in the actual sense, that's why I say it wasn't necessary, but I feel they wanted us to focus on the usage of the parallel line to help us find the equation so all we can basically do is 
the, the thing that is very important is to note that the, 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 the gradient of that line is equal to the gradient of the line which is to the line to which it is parallel to. I think that's the most important point the take away point. So even in a case where the the, the what where the equation is not given if the equation is not given you should be able to arrange the formula in the form of y is equal to mx plus c and get m as a gradient of this other line and then use it for the other line but I feel what they needed to give you again is they would have to give you the y coordinate okay so in this case take your gradient to be 3 over 2 which is coming from the line parallel to the tangent and then get the coordinate negative 0 0.5 comma negative 11 over 2 and try to find the equation okay so this is where we end for this tutorial I hope you understand how to find the normals and also the tangents to the curve and being able to apply them in different questions that may come as complicated